and the man convicted remains on death row while the victim's daughter waits for justice. Robert Foley was found guilty of killing Rodney and Lynn Vaughn in Laurel County in 1993. His death warrant was sent to the governor, and now Vaughn's daughter wants to know why it has not been signed yet. WYMT's Phil Pendleton reports on the death penalty delay. Robert Foley has stayed on death row for nearly two decades, serving two death sentences. I resent the system, honestly. I mean, because altogether he has six accounts of the death penalty. Sharon Vaughn McGeorge was only a teenager when her father Rodney Vaughn and her uncle Lynn were murdered. Robert Foley was convicted in their deaths and six months later he was sentenced to die for the 1989 murders of four others in Madison County. I don't think I'll ever have peace in my life and I don't think I'll ever leave the bitterness in my life that I have for Robert Foley until he is executed. McGeorge wants to know why Governor Bashir hasn't signed Foley's death warrant. A spokesperson for the governor describes this as an ongoing legal process that requires research and often a lot of time to resolve. There's always going to be another appeal. If they want to sign those warrants, they can sign them warrants. The Vons were killed in 1991 in Laurel County. Foley was convicted in September 1993. His second death sentence was handed down in 1994. He's had 19 years of life that my dad hasn't had, and he's got to see his kids grow up. He's got to see his family, whether it's behind a glass window or whatever it is. In both murder cases, Foley hit his victims, and in the Madison County case, they were found covered with lime and cement in a septic tank. Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News.